hello. I am in my car. No, this is not going to be a mukbang or car talk, but I am at a local trail. I am going to try and hit 20,000 steps today. I got this inspiration from Weekends at Carrie's. She just did her 50,000 step challenge video and it really, really inspired me to get moving and get walking. Most days I don't even reach like 5,000 steps. I lead a pretty sedentary life because I work behind a computer. I get home, I draw or watch TV or cook dinner. So I don't really walk a whole lot. So I decided I'm going to get out and walk today. I'm going to do this. And so here I am. So I have my water that I need to drink before I head out. And then I have my backpack that I'm going to take with me. It's a monstrosity of a backpack. I need to find out what's the best walking backpack and maybe invest in one because we actually hike quite a lot. So yeah, I have a couple of snacks to keep me fueled up and I'm ready to get this walk started. Oh, and actually I've actually walked quite a few steps. I have gotten 2,216 steps. I took King on a nice long walk this morning. It feels so, so good here in North Texas. So I'm pretty excited about this walk coming up. Let's get started. I'm apologizing ahead of time for all of the wind noise. It's very breezy today, but it feels so, so good. It's probably in the 70s and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I know it's probably not gonna last very long because it's Texas. And by like one o'clock, it could be like 97 degrees. So anyways, off to a great start. We're about 15 minutes in. I have about 3,800 steps so far. I'm doing pretty okay. It's very windy. So, yeah. This, ba this backpack that I have on is not helping at all. But other than that, I feel pretty good. My legs don't hurt, my feet don't hurt. So, onwards and upwards. I'm stopping for a water break. But I think we're about 35 minutes in. So, and I think I'm a little over, or around 6,000 steps. Yeah, almost 6,000 steps, 5,813. It feels so daunting. I have so much more to go. Okay, I'm a little after 41 minutes and I'm at 6,293 steps. I feel like whenever I get to 10,000, I'm just gonna turn around and go back to my car and it'll, it should almost be maybe in the mid tens when I get back. So we'll see. I'm booking it, yo. My leg is starting to hurt a little bit, my shin. I don't think it's a shin splint, but my body's just not used to like walking this far, I guess. So, oh well. I'm shooting for crossing the bridge and then turning around. I'm not quite at 10,000 steps yet, but I'm feeling it. And I'm hungry and I'm thirsty, so. So I found some bleachers <laughs> to take a rest at and I hit my freaking knee on one and it hurt so bad. It's going to be interesting going back, but I'm taking a break. I brought a few oranges and an apple and some granola, but the granola is kind of dry so I might just stick with these and just take a rest. I'm at, hold on. I can't do anything like one-handed here. Hold on. I 
I'm at 9,333 steps, so I'm practically halfway. So this is my turning around point. I'm going to be headed back now after I just take a water and food break. I'm really, really hungry, so I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm back at it after my break. I have about, I'm at about 9,400 steps. And by the time I get to my car, it'll, it'll be close to 20. So, and then the rest of the day, I'll probably do some other things to kind of get me moving. We'll see. Off the road again. Okay. I'm at like 13,400 ish. My body's starting to really feel it. Like my legs are killing me and my feet. Oh my God. My feet are probably worse than my legs. And there are a lot of people out today on their bikes and just walking and I'm scared I'm gonna get like sideswiped by a bike. But maybe not. Like I know where I am, but I don't really know how long it's gonna take me to get back to my car because I'm slowing down a lot, so. And I'm almost like, I'm at like five miles and almost like two hours on my watch. I did stop for a little while to eat and to get a drink, so we'll see. So I'm back and that was an intense walk going the sun was on my back, but on my way here, back to my car, on like the turnaround, the fun was the the sun was hitting me in the face and in the front, so I have nice like sun marks, nice little sunburn tan areas, and oh my gosh, I was right. It started to get kind of hot towards the end there, but. I got 16,366 steps. That whole trip got me 16,366. So for the rest of the day, I think I might go home, rest up, eat something filling, and then later on, whenever it gets cool again, I'll take King on another long walk, and then maybe go around the block a few times. And some of you probably are thinking, why didn't you take King on this long walk? And I like to compare King to a cheetah. She gets these bursts of energy and then she's done. And so she's usually good for like a mile or so. And then she starts to really, really slow down and get really hot and I like, start to worry about her. So I did not take her on this walk just for her safety. And she pulls, so like my safety too. She pulls on the leash, I've been working with her a little bit. But anyways, that is why I care about her safety. I don't want her over getting overheated and overworked. So I left her at home to be in the air conditioner. She's a spoiled dog. She's great, but she's good. And it was just good to just get out by myself and just go. And so, yeah. So I'm gonna head home for a little bit and get some chores done and rest up. So, see you in a little bit. So we're back. I took a nap and I ate and now we're at it again. I'm starting at 16,800. Yeah, I'm taking King on a walk. So here we go again. Okay. 
Okay, so we've made it to 19,000. King is doing okay-ish, thinking she might want to go home because her tongue's kind of hanging out the side of her mouth. That's usually when I can tell dogs are really tired. So I might drop her off and then go around the neighborhood a couple times until I get to 20,000. Almost there. What? I did it. I met my goal. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it took literally all day just to get 20,000 steps. Granted, I did take a nap and I did get sunburned really bad. Oh my God. <laughs> like it literally hurts. And this week is gonna be interesting while it heals, but it's turned out to be a beautiful day. I'm so glad I did this. My legs and my feet hurt like a mother, but I just, I did it, I did it. So hopefully I can maintain at least a 10,000 step a day goal. I'm not gonna hold myself to it too critically, but I definitely am going to be trying to walk more. It just feels good to stretch my legs and not just have to do like weights or stuff inside. Whenever I stopped going to the gym, I felt kind of lost a little bit. And you can definitely work out at home or outside in your backyard or go for a walk. So that's what I'm trying to do. This was really good. It was nice and refreshing. Hopefully I can do more like fitness challenges with you guys. So let me know what I should do next. I'll talk to you all next time. Thank you.